When you look at Kitaido, it looks like a martial art. We dress as martial artists. Um, we, the form of the of the class is as martial arts. Um, but there is, it's something else. We search for expression of movements rather than to search for their objectives. It's more about letting go than obtaining something, okay? It's more about um, uh, letting go of who you are, of what you can do, of what is a beautiful movement, what is an effective movement, what will be good for your, your health, yourself, your anything. And it's just about expressing what is there at the moment. When I was 18, I started to practice uh, martial arts. It was uh, full contact martial arts, Israeli full contact martial arts. And um, I practiced it for seven years. Uh, just before my black belt exam, before a national competition, I decided to go out for a year to search because I felt there was something else in the martial arts that I must fa find. I couldn't find it in this own practice, but I had to find it. I enrolled in a shiatsu school, and the teacher said to me, this man is coming to Israel, English man. You must go and study with him, take a workshop. And I went to the, my first Kitaido workshop. After the warm-up, Ken started the class and he said, be a beginner's mind. And he showed two movements. And I thought, okay, I don't have to look again. After meeting Ken, I went back and got my black belt, did the competition, went to the teacher and said, thank you very much, I'm taking a break, I'm going. I put my black belt down, took the white belt of Kitaido and started my practice.
what makes a practice a practice to me is that when you let go of its promise. The first step, we can have a promise. Okay, if you practice, you'd be peaceful. If you practice, you'd be a very good martial artist. A promise has um, the power to move you into a new space because you reach out to get it. But there is a certain point where you, where I hope people will let, will let go of that promise. Because when you let go of the promise, all the other possibilities open. And I think that what makes a practice a practice and not a martial art or a movement art, but a practice of life. Simplicity, yeah, can bring a lot of richness into this world. This is a world that has emptiness because we look, we look to fulfill that emptiness. But if we just for a moment be brave enough to be that emptiness, something can start growing from within. <laughs>